A pleasant and a very good Friday, everybody. Well, a variety of weather moving into the northern Rockies today, tonight, and into early Saturday. We have another system that's coming in from the west, and it's going to bring some showers and thunderstorms to the plains later today and into early tonight, especially the plains of Wyoming, western South Dakota, Nebraska, and later into some areas of far northeastern Colorado. Snow is going to fall in Wyoming's western mountains, also the mountains of eastern Idaho and southwest Montana. In fact, winter weather advisories in effect. Snow levels in a few spots can get down to 7,500 feet in Wyoming's western mountains and valleys tonight and early Saturday morning, but above 9,000 feet is where it's going to really accumulate. Places like Togety Pass and Teton Pass will see accumulating snow tonight and Saturday morning. South Pass, Powder River Pass could see a little bit of snow as well. So if you're a hunter or going to go hunting this weekend in those western mountains, we'll be ready for that. And travelers, be ready for wet to slick conditions. Can't believe I'm saying that, but yes, wet to slick conditions over those western mountain passes will be a possibility over the next 24 to 36 hours. Across the lower elevations of Wyoming, Colorado, Western South Dakota and Nebraska, it will cool off for the weekend. Temperatures will still be pretty warm east of the divide today, but everybody going to be cool and brisk and blustery tomorrow. Showers will linger over the northern half of Wyoming for a good chunk of Saturday. A few showers over central and eastern Wyoming, and for eastern and northeastern Colorado, you're going to have a little patch of rain and thunderstorms over northeastern and eastern Colorado Saturday evening and Saturday night. So through the next 48 hours... Getting colder, unsettled, with some smatterings of showers and mountain snow. Thankfully, we're going to salvage the weekend on Sunday. Sunday, we're going to clear out. It's going to be very autumn-like with 60s and 70s, but a pleasant day. If there's a day to check out the changing fall colors in the mountains, because this is the first weekend when they really start to show, Sunday is the day you want to take advantage of. Now, the first official day of autumn is Monday, the 23rd. A nice first day of autumn. In fact, the first half of next week, across Wyoming, Colorado, and western areas of South Dakota and Nebraska looks nice. There will be a couple of showers in northern Wyoming on Monday, but for the most part, Monday through probably Thursday will bring just really nice mid to late September weather with lots of 70s and low 80s, lots of sun, low humidities, and probably it looks like a dry forecast. Now, by next weekend, Into the first days of October, we've been hinting of change. That's coming. We're going to have to figure out the details. But by next weekend and into the following week, cooler wet weather will descend, uh, especially into the northern Rockies. I see the Pacific Northwest, and I see the Montana, Idaho, western areas of Wyoming, western Colorado, and Utah really seeing a real threat of colder wet weather settling in for the first days of October and the last days of September. And we've got all of next week to fine-tune that and help you figure out what's coming. But certainly at the end of the month and early October, be ready for a change. Have a great weekend. Be ready for some unsettled weather over the next 48 hours, but we'll be rewarded with a nice day on Sunday. Have a great weekend.